again with my Fokker DR1. This time I'm testing the accelerometer and gyroscope settings. So this thing is a MPU 6500 and you can buy it for a couple of dollars on eBay. And this is my real time uh, web view of the uh, of all the channels that I'm measuring. And this these three axes are the accelerometer axis. So if I lift the plane into level, I will see only the Z axis. So gravity is uh, pointing downwards. If I roll the plane to the left, I will see a decrease on the Y axis of the accelerometer here. I roll it back to level I will get it back to zero so I can use the accelerometer Y channel uh, to get a stable roll for the plane uh, I could do the same for the x-axis for the pitch and now let's take a look at the gyro axis so the accelerometer axis are for um, for getting a good flight position and if I like turn the, the plane left or right you will see the gyro on the z-axis um, is outputting an angular velocity so this is in uh, degree per second and um, I can use them these values to to stabilize the the flight like that it's not uh, not riding circles same is for pitch on the y-axis and roll for roll the gyro is rolling on the x-axis here so in this case, if the gyro outputs a value here, I am having an angular movement. And if I have an accelerometer value there, I have a position. So, these are the six uh, measurement channels. And in the next step, I will input these channels into some um, mixes that I can control, like stabilizing functions.